Hey guys, welcome to this Simply Learn Live on AI applications in 2020. So let's wait for a little bit as people join in. I'd like to thank everyone joining in from Facebook and YouTube. Again, welcome everyone to this live session. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind all of you that we have a dedicated team here to answer your questions. So ask away in the live chat. So here's a small refresher about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence refers to intelligence displayed by machines that simulates human intelligence. Basically, it's the ability of a machine or a program to think and learn. Now that you're all caught up, let's take a look at how different domains are using AI. Let's have a look at the current market state of AI. According to Tractica, a market research firm, the global AI market is expected to reach a revenue of $118 billion by 2025. Next, according to the research firm, Gartner AI usage has grown by 270% in the last four years. A clear indication of the growth that's yet to come in the upcoming years. In fact, 87% of companies that actually have adopted AI were using it to improve email marketing. And in some news, that could be positive or negative, depending on how you look at it, 75 countries are now using AI technology for surveillance. Now let's have a look at how artificial intelligence is used in different domains. First off, AI applications in e-commerce. AI offers you personalized shopping. With AI, you have a recommendation engine through which you can engage better with your customers. These recommendations are made by taking into consideration their usage history, their preferences and interests. By providing these recommendations, what you're doing is basically improving your relationship with your customers. You are improving their loyalty towards your brand and by extension, causing an increase in the number of conversions. With AI, you can provide users the ability to perform visual searches. Users can upload an image of the item they require. Search results are shown that match their query. So all of this can be done without them having to type a single word. Next, we have AI-powered assistants. Assistants like virtual shopping assistants and chatbots help improve user experience while shopping online. For this, techniques like NLP or natural language processing are used to make the conversation sound as human and personal as possible. Did you know that soon customer service could be handled by chatbots on Amazon.com? Moreover, these assistants can have real-time engagement with your customers. They can handle multiple situations like if the customer has some feedback, the chatbot will take it from them. Or if they have some basic questions about your brand, the chatbot can help them out. These assistants can help further emphasize the point to the users about how important they are to your organization. Next, under e-commerce, we have smart purchasing. Customer trends are often difficult to predict. But with AI, they don't have to be. AI can focus demands related to a particular product. With this knowledge, your decisions on what products to stock up and when it needs to be done can be positively impacted. Doing this, you're meeting customer expectations and improving their experience with your brand. Finally, under e-commerce, we have fraud prevention. Two of the biggest issues that e-commerce companies have to deal with are credit card fraud and fake reviews. By taking into consideration usage patterns, AI can help deal with reducing the possibility of credit card frauds taking place. Talking about fake reviews, did you know that more than 80% of customers decide to buy a product or service based on their customer reviews? AI can help identify and handle fake reviews. By making sure they're handled, you are improving customer trust in your brand and products. Some of the organizations that have already started AI are Amazon, Alibaba.com and eBay. Based on research performed by MIT, GPS technology can provide users with accurate, timely and detailed information to improve safety. The technology uses a combination of conventional neural networks and graph neural network, which makes lives easier for users by automatically determining the number of lanes and road types behind obstructions on the roads. Next up, we have AI applications in robotics. First off, let's have a look at mobility. Robots that are powered by AI will use real-time updates. They would be able to maneuver through a particular part of travel. With this path, the robot can sense obstacles in its path and then pre-plan its journey. 
It can be used for carrying goods in factories, warehouses and hospitals, cleaning offices and large equipments, inventory management and it is also used for exploring environments that are too dangerous for humans. AI can also be used in process optimization. Data obtained by sensors can be analyzed to enhance AI intelligence. With this knowledge, unnecessary breakdowns are prevented and it can also reduce associated costs of major issues. Next up, let's see how AI is applied in the human resources domain. Now, this is something most people wouldn't have expected. Did you know that companies use software to ease the hiring process? Artificial intelligence helps with blind hiring. Software that uses machine learning can be used to sift through applications based on specific parameters. AI can be used to scan job candidates' profiles and resumes to provide recruiters an understanding of the talent pool they must choose from. Now let's have a look at AI applications in healthcare. First off, let's have a look at how AI is used in patient care. So there are these things called prescription errors which are basically caused due to slips, lapses or mistakes in a doctor's prescription. Let's face it, a dosage too high can be the difference between life and death. Audit systems that use AI can help prevent these kinds of errors from being handled and the diseases are properly identified. Some of the popular uses are Javion, Analytic and Wellframe. Next, let's see how AI is used with medical imaging and diagnostics. AI can help with early diagnosis to analyze chronic conditions taking into consideration laboratory and other medical data. It is also used with advanced medical imaging through which you can analyze and transform images. Through this, you can create models for possible scenarios. Next up is AI applications in research and development. AI is really important when it comes to the discovery of new drugs. This is made possible with the help of a combination of historical data and medical intelligence. It also helps understand the human gene and its components. It also helps predict the different outcomes possible if gene editing is performed. Right now, there's probably scientists racing to develop the gene sequence for COVID-19 and towards the creation of the vaccine. Now that we have reached midwayish, I have a question to ask. Are you guys using AI-powered software in your workplace? Let me know in the live chat. If you enjoy watching informative tech videos like this one, consider subscribing to Simply Learn's channel to stay up to date on the trending technologies and hit the bell icon to never miss an update in the future. Next up, let's talk about AI applications in agriculture. First off, AI helps with monitoring crop and soil health. It can help with identifying defects and nutrient deficiency in the soil. By analyzing images of soil and patterns in them, soil defects, plant pests and diseases can be identified. Next, AI helps decrease pesticide usage using technology like computer vision, robotics and machine learning. Using this kind of technology, it can be determined where weeds are grown. This way, herbicides can be sprayed only where the weeds are. With this, herbicide usage is limited. AI also helps with agriculture bots. It can be used to reduce human labor by harvesting crops at a faster rate and a higher volume. Next, let's have a look at artificial intelligence in gaming. One of the most important things that game companies need to handle, which is labor costs. This is done to generate levels, maps, textures, weapons, characters, etc. AI can be used to create smart, human-like NPCs to interact with players. It can also be used to predict human behavior using which game design and testing can be improved. Now, this example isn't a recent one, but that of a 2014 game called Alien Isolation. Now, if you know about the movies, you know it's from the Alien series of movies. So, in this game, the titular alien stalks the player throughout the game. The alien uses two AIs to hunt the player. A director AI that always knows the position of the location of the player and an alien AI which is driven by sensors and behaviors that constantly hunt the player. The director AI only gives the alien AI clues to the player's location which it needs to figure out. Now let's have a look at AI application in automobiles. First off, we have driverless automobiles. By taking a combination of information obtained from the vehicle's camera, radar, cloud services, GPS and control signals, that can be used to operate the vehicle. It's thanks to all of this that the car is able to drive itself. Next, AI offers driver assistance. AI can be used to improve the in-vehicle experience as well. Systems like emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, driver assist steering are used. Next up, AI in social media. First, let's see how Facebook is able to use AI. One of the ways AI is being used is for analyzing pictures. 
This can be used to identify the people in an image. AI is also used in a tool called Deep Text. So with the help of technologies like NLP, Deep Text can understand conversations. This can allow Facebook to show more accurate advertisements to the users. This tool can be used to prevent suicide. AI can be used to analyze posts that represent suicidal thoughts. The tool can also be used to translate posts from different languages. Next, let's have a look at AI used by Instagram. AI takes into account your likes and the accounts you follow to determine what posts you are shown on your Explore tab. The Deep Text tool has also been used recently to identify and remove spam messages from user accounts. AI is also used for handling cyberbullying to check content based on hashtags from other users. Next up, AI in Twitter. AI is used to determine fraud, propaganda, and hateful content on the platform. It is also used to recommend tweets that the users might enjoy based on what tweets that you engage with. It is also used to filter through inappropriate content and remove it from the platform. AI is also used for automatically cropping images based on face recognition. It is also used to filter through inappropriate content and remove it from the platform. AI is also used for automatically cropping images based on face recognition. And finally, let's have a look at AI applications in marketing. First off, AI enables programmatic advertising. AI enables highly targeted and personalized ads by taking into consideration behavioral analysis, pattern recognition, and much more. AI also enables you to retarget audiences at right time to make sure they are given appropriate results and ensure feelings of annoyance and distrust. Next up, that's personalized narratives. AI can help with content marketing in a way that matches the brand style and voice. It can also be used to handle routine tasks like performance, campaign reports, and much more. Then AI helps with setting up chatbots. Chatbots are powered by AI, natural language processing, natural language generation, natural language understanding that can understand what the user's language and respond in the ways humans do. Then we have personalized UI and UX. It can be used to provide users with real-time personalization. Basically, these smart systems can process information about site visitors or app users, then apply changes to the model in ways that optimize it for future use. By continually learning and adjusting, the algorithms improves the user's experience to offer a more engaging, personalized experience. Next, AI helps with localization. It can help with editing and optimizing market campaigns to fit the needs of the local market. By automated editing of certain variables like CTAs, ad copies, etc., the campaigns would be able to connect better with a local audience. And there you go, these are the top applications of AI in 2020. With that, we have reached the end of this video. Do you agree with our list? Think we missed anything important? Let us know in the live chat or in the comment section below if you're watching later. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.